Weight loss is huge challenge for many people. That's why weight loss medication are so important. We will discuss glucagon-like peptide, its action and why it's so important. Let's start with most important story. Glucagon-like peptide causes weight loss 22% in one year. Uh, it's average weight loss. Of course, some people uh, weight loss more, some people less, but average is 22%. It's huge result from any view of point. It means if person is 100 kilogram, it weigh, uh, he or she will weight loss 20 minus 20 kilogram. And this result in case of placebo is only two or four percent. So person who take placebo, they weight loss, but they weight loss only two percent of their body. And people who was taking GLP medication, they weight loss 22 percent. It means it's really work. That's why it's so trendy. And that's why so many people use glucagon-like peptide agonists, uh, even they are too expensive. I will tell you several examples, Ozempic, Vegovi, Mongiorno, and Sexenda. They are brand names of glucagon-like peptide agonists. Now let's discuss how they act. And uh, what is mechanism of action and what they change and why are they so special? Uh, first, we should understand what means glucagon-like peptide. Glucagon-like peptide is protein which is produced in intestines. So, glucagon-like peptide produced in intestine. And this medication looks like this peptide mimics this peptide and acts like this peptide. So glucagon-like peptide agonist acts as a glucagon. And glucagon acts on pancreas. And pancreas has different actions after it receives glucagon. And um, after it receives uh, glucagon-like peptide, not glucagon. Uh, and now, let's say what pan pancreas is doing after it gets some glucagon-like peptide 1. Um, pancreas increases insulin secretion. So, insulin secretion increased. It decreases uh, blood glucose level. That's important point. Another is it decreases glucagon production. So, glucagon-like peptide 1 causes decreased glucagon. Glucagon acts on liver and it causes uh, breakdown of glycogen into glucose. And if it's decreased, this process is inhibited. And this process is decreased, so uh, glycogen breakdown is decreased in liver and glucose production is decreased also. Also, it decreases uh, gluconeogenesis, which means production of glucose from amino acids and fatty acids. So, glucose production by liver is decreased. That's an important point. Also, uh, glucagon-like peptide affects hypothalamus directly and it causes uh, appetite suppression. Another thing, it also affects our stomach, our gastric and causes delaying gastric emptying. So our gastric uh, emptying is delayed so Ghrelin production is decreased. Ghrelin is satiety hormone. Uh, 
uh, hunger, it, it is called hunger hormone actually, when ghrelin is up, uh, we are hungry. And it increases leptin hormone, and this leptin hormone is uh, satiety hormone. When leptin is up, we feel satiety and uh, we are not hungry anymore. So, um, uh, glucagon-like peptide causes decreased ghrelin level and increased leptin level. It's also important. So, let's summarize now what uh, GLP-1 agonists do. They increase insulin level, decrease uh, glucagon level, decrease glucose production in the liver, decrease ghrelin level, uh, ghrelin level production by gastric, uh, increase leptin level, and they suppress appetite in hypothalamus. So they doing lots of things actually. And now, let's say, where is, uh, where is their place? in treatment of obesity is also very important. Uh, when person has obesity, what's first line of treatment? First line is uh, lifestyle modification and exercise. If lifestyle and modification alone is not enough, then we have second line treatment. Second line treatment is GLP-1 agonist, Orlistat and Pentaramine. Uh, Orlistat is most used and it is considered also safest drug of obesity. LPG agonist is most effective, most effective. But what's pro main problem here? Main problem is price. It costs around um, 1,400 US dollar per mass. It's a very expensive drug. It's a main limitation of this drug also. Uh, and what side effects has this GLP-1 agonist? Uh, generally, they considered safe for most population. Uh, of course, like any other drug, it can have diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, sometimes constipation also. Uh, and what is most important and serious side effects? In 0.2% uh, of cases, it had pan acute pancreatitis. And people with this group stopped intaking this drug. So, in 0.2% of people, it can have, it can cause acute pancreatitis. It's serious uh, side effect. And another more important side effect is thyroid cancer. But uh, thyroid cancer is rare. Uh, I mean, thyroid cancer generally is not rare, but uh, GLP cause thyroid cancer is rare and it needs more researches to confirm this finding and to define on what population uh, it happens and what dosage and such details. So this risk also exists and it's also important risk. But of course it's important risk benefits because for some people uh, weight loss can have much more benefits especially short-term benefits than thyroid cancer. Uh, so it's, it, it should be decided that, that not thyroid cancer, actually, I mean risk of thyroid cancer, which is very low. Uh, so, uh, and uh, as, as we said, main limitation, limitation is uh, price of this medication. And uh, it's also injection, uh, inject, injectable form. So you should inject into your body these medications, and uh, you you should 
uh, intake it once a day or once a week it depends on brand um, and um, longevity and how, how, how long you should uh, intake this medication it depends on target weight uh, it's important uh, and studies uh, are done up to three years so three year intake of this medication is considered safe that's all thank you for your interest thank you for watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now